Welcome to another Invisible Wheelchair podcast tapping recording. In this recording, I'm going to take you through a simple tapping session related to the podcast you just listened to. This is a simple tapping session as a starter to your tapping journey. This is not meant to be a full tapping session, but a starter that you can build on as you do more tapping and more of what your spirit needs to tap on comes out. If you have not tapped before and don't know or understand emotional freedom techniques, better known as tapping, then I suggest you go to FocusedHealthyFamily.com or FamilyOCD.com. Go to the About EFT page to find out more about how to tap and the tapping process before you begin this recording. This recording will not go over those details about how to do EFT or tapping. What I'm going to do is say a phrase, give you a space to repeat that phrase as we continue to tap. I will for myself start at the point above the eyes at the eyebrow and move to each point with each phrase or word that I use. I will not say the point name during this tapping recording. Remember again, if you have not tapped before, then please go to FocusedHealthyFamily.com or FamilyOCD.com and go to the About EFT page to find out more about it. Make sure to keep breathing normally. Keep hydrated. Drink plenty of water as you tap. And most of all, be conscious of what thoughts come up during your tapping. I call these pop-ups. They can be words, phrases, songs, pictures, or feelings. These could be very important messages from your mind as to what needs to be worked on, so you may want to write them down and add those pop-ups to your future tapping sessions. I would not brush them off lightly, no matter if they don't match what you're immediately tapping on. The mind does not bring them up lightly. So, let's begin now. This is the tapping recording for Podcast 4 called Compare Myself to My Old Me. I want to begin by taking some deep breaths. And when you take the deep breath as you exhale, let your shoulders drop. Let your whole body relax and kind of melt into where you're sitting. So let's take some deep breaths right now. Again. Now I'm starting this tapping process with the point above the eye and moving with each statement. I may not be seeing myself as I truly am. My comparison may not be accurate. I am who I am right now. I am stopping comparing myself to anyone else but my present me. I am only comparing myself to my present self. It is difficult to keep up with a norm that has no real definition. I have to set up a norm of my own. A norm based on the present me. I have to be flexible and forgiving of myself. I have to be willing to change as I change. I am accepting my present self. I am giving myself a break. I am starting to recognize myself now. I am willing to be open to my present me. I am willing to change. I am open to loving who I am now. 
I am willing to accept my present me. It is through this acceptance that I can heal myself. It is through this acceptance that I become aware of who I am and it is through this awareness that I've begun the journey to heal. I am willing to accept this awareness. I am willing to accept myself now. Let's take a deep breath. I know that was just some simple phrases, but I hope you can go over them a couple of times and then be very open in your mind as to what comes out from those phrases. What does your mind say about them? Is there resistance in there? If there's resistance, what is it saying? And what is it saying about you? So as you hear these resistance, the more you do this tapping, be open to tapping around those resistance and find out what this is really about. Do these tappings every day and be very open to what's going on in the mind, the real messages that are back there that will help you to overcome them instead of just pushing them back down. So remember, keep tapping, talking, and transcending your life into new heights. Thank you for tapping and keep tapping and have a great day.